Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, uh, first time watcher, uh, great to have you here, thanks for coming by, uh, if you're a returning favorite, welcome, thanks for coming back. So, um, today I did receive my, uh, Kringle Candle, Country Candle, uh, Unicorn Poop, uh, candle, <laughs> three candle words in a, in a way there, and, uh, this candle, um, well, I'll show it to you real quick there, um, weird name, right, Unicorn Poop, you can see that. Nice picture of a unicorn on there, uh, like tealish uh, wax, a little darker than what the picture said, uh, or that the picture showed rather. And uh, so, a little history on this candle, real quick. Um, so Mick Kittredge, the founder of Kringle Candle, who is Mike Kittredge's son, uh, who was the founder of Yankee Candle, uh, he came out on the Facebook group about uh, almost two months ago now. And uh, he posted a picture of this candle. He had a whole concept posted there. And he's like, if I get 100 pre-orders, I'll make this candle. Well, uh, as we expressed interest, um, he went ahead and popped it up on the website there. And I think it was only open for maybe about a week or a week and a half, uh, the pre-order phase. And um, I think they said they reached almost 4,000 pre-orders i could be wrong but then they reached almost four thousand pre-orders for a candle that we didn't know what the heck it smelled like it you know it didn't they, he didn't tell us ahead of time he just said it's a unicorn poop and uh by the time we ordered it there were scent notes and a description on here so i will read you the description here and it says bring joy and happiness into your home with this enchanting and mighty fragrance that only a unicorn can bestow Okay, um, it's a great concept candle. It's a great limited edition. Um, that's what the thing says right here. The little sticker label says limited edition. Kind of like, remember how Yankee, when they had the large labels, um, they would do that when they had their um, uh, man candles and they had like the uh, bunny cake in the bottom. If you're looking at the candle bottom right, it would say uh, collector's edition. Uh, limited edition, collector's edition, I think is what, is what it said most of the time. So, uh, Mick is clearly, um, you know, uh, borrowing that concept there. And uh, so this candle, I got to say, it is June 27th, I think it is, Thursday, June 28th almost. Uh, June 28th. And uh, so it shipped yesterday from Connecticut to Pennsylvania here. Unfortunately, it was a little, it did succumb to uh, to the heat there. As you can see, I got... Some melting of the oils on the lid, um, some melting of the wa of the oils and the wax there. Uh, it was much worse. My God, it was like almost completely liquid on top, uh, and that's just uh, unfortunate. Um, you know, unfortunate downside of shipping uh, candles in the heat, as you can see all of that on there. So um, I am not going to burn this. Um, I only got one. I probably should have gotten two because I'm really enjoying this fragrance. Um, so what is this? Okay, let's go country candle, right? Uh, it's two wick, 23 ounce, up to, up to 150 hour burn time. Normally this size jar is $24.95. Um, they released this one for $19.99. Unfortunately, it, it is no longer available. It was, ava it was available via pre-order only. And Kringle, Mick, if you're watching this, here's an idea. If you do the same thing, um, you know, get a hundred plus buy-ins for like witch's cauldron i think you would surpass that four thousand mark because there are so many people so many people that want witch's cauldron and even most of the halloween line brought back in some way or another but if you did it for witch's cauldron which is like the king of the halloween fragrances i think you would reach over four thousand people uh, or over four thousand pre-orders um so just a little tip there if you want to explore that um, we'd be gratefully appreciative. Um, so anyhow, back to this. So, um, what is this candle? Well, I'm going to tell you what I think this candle is, um, cause it seems to be the trend this year. This is like a flat out cotton candy scent, like blue cotton candy, blue raspberry almost. Uh, it's cotton candy. It's sweet. It's, um, very sweet. Um, it's not overly fruity, but, I smelled a few cotton candy candles this year, and this is pretty much along those same lines. Um, birthday cake, sweet, cotton candy, spun sugar. Thanks, sugar. Very, very spun sugar-like. And um, just very, very sweet. Very, 
uh, fruity sweet, but not overly fruity. If, if that kind of makes any sense um, to you guys there, but it is definitely a gorgeous label. Uh, I know a lot of people were, were turned off by the the name Unicorn Poop. Um, oddly enough, I was in Five Below tonight, and I'll insert a picture here. Um, they had uh, a unicorn section, right, uh, of things, and there actually was a, a fake um, unicorn poop. So I will put that picture in um, right there so you can see that. But uh, if you guys have seen the the poo, was it the poo Paris commercials where they have where they have the unicorn and coming out is the uh uh it's like rainbow ice cream into a cone there so i see where they're kind of going with this it's it's really cool uh like i said i'm not going to burn this one i'm just going to keep this um you know just keep this on the shelf there it's a really neat candle great concept uh glad i was able to get in on the on the pre-order there um so the, the, they do have notes for this um half are real half are completely fake um, imagination, sherbet, sun rays, sweet cream, cake, citrus, moonbeams, sugar, tree fruits, essence of sprinkles, sprinkles, uh, jimmies, um, for us in the Northeast here, um, exotic florals and fruits, oxygen, and water flowers. So I don't really get a floral note to this at all. Um, I would say this is pretty much your cotton candy scent, sweet up, sweet cotton candy scent, go to a fair. Uh, it's in the summertime, very uh, sweet, sugar, uh, blue raspberry almost, um, if that's where they're getting their fruit from, the blue raspberry, which um, isn't really a real fruit, uh, but anyhow, um, that is that, so uh, I'm not sure this is coming back, I know it is coming to you guys over uh, overseas, abroad, in the UK, and Europe, um, I think they said sometime in August, so uh, uh, keep a lookout on keep keep a lookout for that um i'm not sure how they're doing i think from what i saw they only have a certain allotment um that they'll be selling so maybe they have i'm just using just using numbers here random numbers so if they have a hundred that's all they have um because i guess this was just a, a single run and whatever was whatever they made extra besides those four thousand um is going going overseas there to the to the wholesale business so all right guys well thanks for watching um let me know what your thoughts are on this candle this concept and um let kringle know would, would you guys um do a pre-order buy-in if they brought witches cauldron back or if they brought candy corn back or wolfsbane back or um help me with the other one the um, the, uh, the citrus one i forget but it, would you guys bring them we can get a campaign going right like let's get Let's get Kringle to know that we are interested in these Halloween candles. Because um, I don't think Yankee's doing much anymore for these for Halloween. I mean, last year we had Haunted Hollow, amazing scent. Um, poorly executed, not putting it in a house warmer, only putting it in a, in a, a medium tumbler. The melt cup, um, the spheres, as well as the uh, plug-in. So if it were in a house warmer or a tubic tumbler, I think it would have had a lot more popularity. Um, so let's start a campaign. Let's let Kringle know we want their Halloween stuff. Bring it back. It's been four years, almost five years, um, that we haven't had their stuff. And, uh, that stuff's fetching good money on the, on the eBay and, and Macari. So, you know, uh, there's clearly a demand for it. So, all right, guys. So, so let me know. Um, give me some thumbs up, uh, comment, like, subscribe, please. Uh, like I said, let me know, uh, unicorn poop. Do you like it? Do you have it? Um, were you turned off by the name? So, uh, you know, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned. I'll be back with more, con uh, more content. So have a good one.